we go on to the next slide. Now, as you know, uh, the session is about finding and citing literature about safeguarding. Uh, it's part of your discussion board activity. Uh, I think you, I'm pretty much sure you have heard how this works. Um, so it's about uh, that you find literature about safeguarding, good literature about safeguarding, that you reference this literature, you post the reference to your discussion board, and once you posted it, you will see what the others posted, and then you can pick one of these other posts and uh, comment on it or give a short comment. So this is what you have to do. Now, I will focus in this webinar on the first part. It's about finding and citing literature, because I know there are some very good um, help, uh, help resources, help material on your Blackboard, for, uh, Blackboard site, so Lynn has produced them, and you can, you can watch them and look at them uh, if you're not sure how this uh, uploading and how you access the discussion board. So this is not what we are talking about today during this webinar. Today it's really focusing on finding and citing literature about uh, safeguarding, and this is what we are going to do. So we, we talk about finding literature. I will show you an example how to find something on YouTube, because you, you can use other resources. You don't have to use an article, although it's a little bit recommended, because you, you know articles have become so important for you, and you will use a lot of articles during the next years, uh, because you only find the relevant information you need in articles. So it will be good to get you getting used to articles and finding articles, accessing articles, reading articles. But of course, you don't have to. You can also use an interesting website, or you can even use videos like YouTube videos. And if you want to use a video, a YouTube video, for example, I will show you what would be a kind of strategy and how you could choose a good video. Now, we also talk about citing literature, and of course, this is not a course about uh, referencing and citing. Uh, I, will, I would like to introduce you to a library resource we have, which is the online version of Cite Them Right. Uh, so the, maybe you know there is a book about uh, this book, Cite Them Right, but there is also an online version you can use. And then I will just uh, rem remind you of a few things about getting hold of a journal article or about uh, how to access articles offline, because you might do this activity from home, you might do the searching from home, so you have this uh, problem in a way that you have to access articles off campus. Now, uh, library search. Uh, I, I prepared something about library search, but I won't show, I won't, I will skip uh, this slide if you are all familiar with library search. So can you give me a short feedback on the chat if you're all familiar with library search or if I show, if I should go to a few steps again, like how to access library search and things like this. Uh, there are a lot of yeses. Okay, a lot of yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. So I don't, I don't spend time on this. You're fine, so don't forget to sign in. And uh, let's see. Uh, maybe I just want to mention if you, are there some of you uh, from, from a Medway cohort, from a Medway group? Can you just please give me a short feedback if there are some Medway students uh, amongst, the, the, amongst this group? Or are you all Canterbury students? Because we had some Medway, some Medway students before. Can you please give me a short feedback if you are Canterbury or Medway? Kent, Medway, okay. We have a few Kants. Yeah, most of you seem to be Canterbury. But there is, yeah, okay, thank you. But because there's one uh, Medway, um, of course, you can use the Journal Library catalog for this. Uh, this is just to remind you how to access it. So it's the click portal again, click on the library tile. And then you have this option, library services, and then you can choose between different catalogs. So you have library search, the library website, and as you can see here, you have also the Drill Hall Library catalog. So click on the Drill Hall Library catalog, and then you see the Drill Hall Library catalog, and then you could uh, try to find something. It works quite similar uh, with library search, so the difference between these two catalogs is not really that big. Good. Now, what I would like to do now is to give you a short demonstration about how to find literature, good literature about safeguarding. So what we are doing now is we are going, we are using library search. So this is library search. This is uh, the start page of library search. Um, and uh, of course, I already signed in, so I can see my name here. And when you start looking for articles about safeguarding, what I would really recommend you is 
to do a very broad search at the beginning. Don't be too specific. Even if you have something in mind which is a little bit more specific, try to be very broad, because then you will see the range of literature we have about safeguarding, and then you can pick and choose the one you're really interested in. So my recommendation would be to really just type in safeguarding as a keyword. It's enough. You don't need more. And click on search, and then you will already see some first results. Now, remember the workshops we did. Remember what we talked about in our uh, library induction in our core lecture. Uh, there's one thing you don't want to do. It is looking at old resources. So you need recent resources, up-to-date resources. So what I really would recommend you, before you have a look at the search results and before you pick and choose one of the articles you find, then make sure that you're only look at, uh, looking at recent articles. And uh, I would really recommend you to uh, refine your search 2008 to 2015, so you know that you only uh, look at articles in this time range, so you look at more recent, recent articles. And now, once you have done this, once you have publication date 2008 to 2015, it's up to you going through this list. I mean, that's, I think, the main work to do now. Now, you have a list of results about literature, about safeguarding. And now, what you can do is, I think it's the easiest way to find interest in literature, to just go to the first two or three pages of these results and have a look at the articles displayed and maybe pick one if you're interested in it. Now, for example, the first result here is an article, as you see here, it's an article, that's the icon. It's an article, Safeguarding, by somebody called Lynn Fair, and it's published in Nursing All the People, 2010. That's fine. Now, if you want to find out more about the article, because that doesn't say much about the article, there are two options. One is you click on Details, and sometimes there is a kind of an abstract or a short version of the article, but in this case, uh, we are not very lucky. There is no one. Now, the only thing to do then is to click on View Online. Click on View Online. And as you know, this will bring up the Find It window. So you click on the Go button, and this will bring up the web page of the article. And then remember what we said in the workshops. Remember our activities. When you want to download an article, always go for the PDF full text. Go for the PDF full text, click on it, and then the article will be displayed. So this is the article we have now. And now we have a look at the article. So we say, OK, it's obviously something uh, uh, which is called it's a practice question, which is interesting. And it's about safeguarding, obviously. And then it says, I would like some information on vetting and bearing, on the vetting and bearing scheme in England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Uh, what are my responsibilities under the scheme? So it's a very, it, it, it's a specific one. It's about the specific scheme. Uh, it would be interesting to know what kind of scheme this is uh, and what are your responsibilities under this scheme. So this is what the article is about. Now, uh, if you're interested in this article, read it and try to cite it. If you're not interested in this article because you think it's not what I'm really looking for, then just close it and follow the list. Go back to the results list and look at the next thing. So in this case, we have a book. It's not an article, it's a book. It's Safeguarding Children from Emotional Maltreatment, What Works. So that's the title of the book, 2010. So it's, recent, it's very recent. And the good thing is, it is a book that we have online. And I think if this is an online book, if it's a book that you can, everyone can access online, then you can, you can use the e-book uh, for your discussion. Uh, activity, a discussion board activity, but of course I wouldn't use the whole book because for somebody else it would be quite a challenge to read the whole book for this activity. Uh, so you might choose a chapter. So what you could do is you click on it, so you view it online, and then you know this will redirect you to the book, and then you click on the table of contents, and then you can maybe choose one of the chapters here. So for example, you can choose the first chapter, you can choose implications for practice. You can choose prevention, the re preventing the recurrence of emotional risk. So you can choose one of the chapters here, and uh, they are maybe interesting, and then somebody else can read them. So this is another option. But again, if you're not interested in this, then just close it and go to the next one. And I think this is pretty much the work you have to do. Just go through this list, because there is interesting literature about safeguarding here in this list. And you just have to pick and choose the ones you're really interested by 
clicking on view online to see the whole article or by just clicking on details where you might get kind of an extra. Of course, what you could do is, you could, if you're particularly interested in children, for example, so you say safeguarding children is what I'm really interested in, then of course you can add a keyword like children. Then you get a little bit more focused in your search, uh, like this here. So we have um, safeguarding children from a notion that that works. Uh, so you, you get a pretty more focused on what you are looking for. Of course, you can do this, but you don't have to. Because a lot of the, the books, for example, here about safeguarding uh, children will come up if you only type in safeguarding. So really it really doesn't matter. But if you want to be more specific, then of course you can do this. So I think this is actually the most important thing I have to tell you in this library session. And I, I, I listed the steps here uh, again. Uh, this is just 10 steps. I mean, it, it, it looks more complicated than it is. But uh, basically, it's about typing in safeguarding, refining your work, and then you could refine it by articles, but you don't have to. And then go through the displayed articles or through the books, click on the View Online link, have a look what it is, and then uh, try to uh, pick and choose the one you really want. So, um, and you might add some uh, search terms like children or adults or, or, or older people or whatever you want to. And of course, you can print the PDF or can download the PDF. So this is basically what it is and what I really would recommend you. Uh, OK, good. Uh, now, about citing, because that's the second part of the, of, the, of the webinar. So this is about searching and finding. I think, and I think for this discussion activity, discussion board activity, you, don't, you shouldn't make it complicated. Uh, just do this in a very easy way. Um, now, uh, when it's about citing, and because we are focusing a little bit here on journal articles, because we think that you will need a lot of journal articles later on, and it's very good to, to get familiar with them. Now, we use the Harvard CCU style. I, I'm sure you, you, you all know this. It's Harvard CCU 2013. That's the output style we use here. Then if you have a journal article like this, so the template would look like this. Uh, it would have the surname, a comma, the initial, year of publication in brackets, and so on. Now, let's see an example here. So we have this example. One of the first results was the safeguarding article by Lynn Fair. And if you would cite this article and then upload this uh, reference to your discussion board, of course, the surname of the author would be Fair. Then we have a, co a comma. Uh, the initial would be L for Lynn and the dot. Then we have the year of publication, which will be, of course, uh, 2010, so 2010 in brackets. Then we have the title of the article, which is safeguarding. Then, of course, we have to type in the title of the journal this article is published in. Now, can you tell me what the journal, uh, the, jour the name of the journal is? Just want to make sure that you know this. What's the name of the journal where this article is published? Give me a quick feedback about this. Well, I see some of you typing. Yes, yes, yes. Sounds good. Okay, good. Yeah, it's nursing all the people. So that's the that's the title of the journal. Well done. Uh, exactly. So as you know, uh, when you reference a journal article, then the title of the journal always should be italic. And then of course you have the issue information, where, which is the, the volume and the issue. So it's two, volume two thousand and volume twenty two and issue one. And then the last one, the last information you have is the page information, which is page 40. So everyone, if you have this reference here uh, in the right output side, would be able to find this article and to download this article on library search. This is great. Now, uh, let me just ask you a few questions now, because I said the webinar is a little bit more interactive, so you have to do something. Uh, here's a question. You use library search to search for articles about safeguarding. You type in the search term, you see a list of results, and refine it by date. What should you do next? So have a look. Just remember about this process of searching something. So should you read through the list to find a good article? Should you refine the search by date? Or should you save the interesting article to your e-shelf? So what do you think is uh, is the right answer? You, so you can use the polling response menu, but you can also, of course, use the chat function to give me uh, a little bit of feedback. 
Okay, I have a few A's, I have a few B's, I have a few people typing. Uh, okay, there is a slight tendency towards A, but there are some B's here. Okay, interesting to see. Another A. So it varies a little bit between B and A. Um, uh, of course, after you typed in, I think the first step would be refining your search by date, because as I mentioned, you don't want to look at all the articles. But I would say uh, the, the answer to this question in this case is I read through the list and find a good article. I think that's the important thing here, uh, to spend some time reading through the list, have a look at the list, have a look at the results list, and then pick and choose the article you want. So that was fine. Thank you very much. I have another easy question for you. Which file format is usually used to download or print a journal article? Is it A, the PDF? Is it B, the HTML? Or is it C, a Word document? OK. OK, that's easy. So you all know this. It's, a, it's a great. It's, it's the PDF. So don't forget this PDF full text article. It's fine. Now, the last question, another easy one. I think the questions are a little bit too easy. What output style for referencing do we normally use at CCCU? Is it the APA CCCU, the Harvard CCCU, or the Cambridge CCCU? Uh, OK. OK, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. It's Harvard CCCU. There is, of course, APA is another output style, and the, is, I think there's no Cambridge style. But APA is another, but there is, we don't use it. And there is no APA CCCU version. So B here is the right answer. Great. Now, uh, last thing I would like to show you, and maybe this is something, uh, because you don't need to have an article. You don't need to, you can use other resources. You can use websites for this discussion board activity, and you can use also videos. And what I would like to show you is how to find some good videos uh, on YouTube about safeguarding. Now, uh, I will switch now to demonstration mode again. Uh, just let me, yeah, okay share this with you, so that's the screen here. Now, we want to access YouTube, and everybody knows this. We type in www.youtube.com, so now we have uh, YouTube on our screen. Now, what we are going to do now is we try to find literature about safeguarding, and what we do is that we, um, we just type in safeguarding as a keyword. Make it easy. Save, I can try it, save. Guarding, and, and we see what comes up. Now, very interesting there. Of course, there is something about safeguarding. Uh, never underestimate YouTube. YouTube has some very interesting resources. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to cite them or to reference them in your assignments. But if you want to find something about the topic, if you want to uh, have some interesting lectures or films about a certain topic, uh, it's really, really good. Uh, now, have a look at this. Uh, what do we have here? The first, uh, the first result is obviously an article, what is safeguarding? But the point here is, uh, of course, you should only choose videos which come from somebody trustworthy, which come from a good source. Uh, and uh, let's have a look at this one. So the first one comes from a company called X Training or XR Training. It might be a good company and it might be a good video, uh, so it's really worth watching it. But of course, you have to be a little bit more careful because they obviously produce videos for various companies, and this video might be something that is produced for a specific company or maybe for an institution. Uh, have a look at it, but be careful because you, you're not sure about for whom this video is produced. Maybe if you watch it, you will recognize it. Let's have a look at the second one. The second one, it's called NMC Safeguarding Adults 1, an introduction. And it's produced or it's published or uploaded by the N NMC videos. Now, what is NMC videos? And if you hover over this uh, name, you will see that this is the nursing and midwifery concept. So this is something very familiar. Most of you are very familiar with nursing and midwifery council. So this is something which is really an interesting and good resource. So it's really worth considering this video as something interesting. And if you click on the video, I don't do this here because it, the, the the broadcasting of a video within this webinar wouldn't work really work. So if you look at this video, you will find out that this is a, an extremely interesting video. And it's not there's only not only one video. 
there are, I think, about four or five videos, series of videos about safeguarding, and it's talking about problems you can have with safeguarding, mistakes that are made by health personnel, how they reflect on their mistakes, and how they try to improve uh, things. So it's a really an amazing video. Maybe you all know it. Uh, maybe you have already seen it. But this is what you can find on YouTube. And then, and of course, you can use it. And then there is something else, like this one, NHS Safeguarding. It sounds interesting, because it's NHS. No, that's, that's the title. But then you look at the author, which is NSFE checks or something like this. So it's, it's, very, it's a very strange thing. So I'm not sure where this really comes from, this video. So it's worth having a look at it. It's a little bit longer. Maybe it's a good video. But of course, here, the author or the institution that has published the video is not so evident. So it's not very explicit and obvious who is this. So I would be a little bit more careful using this kind of resource. But I think the second one would be a nice resource to have for this discussion board activity. Now, we have, if we choose a video, there obviously is the question how to cite a video. And uh, this is where I would like to introduce you to uh, one of our resources, which is the online version of Cite and Write. Maybe you've heard about it. Uh, you've heard about the book Cite and Write. So it's a very famous book about referencing uh, various things in Harvard style. But Cite and Write is the online version of this book. And I think it's quite helpful, because once you know where it is and how you can access it, you can find out quite quickly how to cite uh, different things. And what I would like to show you is now how to access Cite Them Right, which is quite uh, simple. So you go to library search, and then you might remember there is, uh, as, I can, as you can see here, there is uh, a link called Find Databases. So you click on Find Databases. Once you clicked on it, then you have this pop-up menu here where Cite Them Right is the last one on the list here. And you click on Cite Them Right. And once you click on Cite Them Right, this will open Cite Them Right. OK? So it's via the Find Databases, see Cite Them Right, and then you, you will see it. Now, um, I will give you another demonstration here. Uh, we try to access Cite Them Right now. So I close this one. And then, as I said, click on Find Databases. Click on C. I wait a little bit so it builds up on your side. And then click on Cite Them Right. And this should open Cite Them Right. Well, I hope you can see this. It's in the process of opening. OK, now you should be able to see the Cite Them Right website. And as you can see here, there are a lot of different chapters here, like how to cite books, how to cite, jour how to cite journals how to cite digital and internet, media and art, whatever. Now, of course, because it's a YouTube video we want to cite, maybe we find the information we need here in the digital and internet section. And as you can see, there's some subsections now. But again, there is the internet. So we click on the internet. And now you have a, uh, uh, you have a site. And as you can see here, the last one here about see all in, in, in this uh, in this uh, column C also is video or films on YouTube. And you will click on it. And then you will have some uh, a description about how uh, this should like. So if you, if you cite a video, then the first thing is the name of the person posting the video. Or it could be an institution, if it's an institution. Then, of course, the year the video is posted, if you can see it, if you can find it out. Then the title of the video in italics. So the title should be in italics. And then the usual available ad with the with the URL and in brackets when you did access it. Now uh, this is it. So this is Cite and Write Online. Uh, very helpful if you work on a computer and you don't have the book, the Cite and Write book with me and with you, and you need some information about how to cite something a little bit more specific. Then this is really a good option. So just go to Find Databases, see Cite and Write, and then you have all this uh, information here. Now if you go back to my slides. Then uh, we can see here how we would cite this video, this safeguarding video. Uh, as I mentioned, it's first it's the name of the person posting the video, then it's the year the video was posted, the title, available at the access. So this would now, in this case, mean um, nursing and midwifery council 2010. Then the title would be NMC safeguarding adults one, an introduction 
available at, so this will be the URL, and then in brackets access, 0506-2014. This is it. It's very, very, very easy, and if you have a tool like Site and Write Online, this can help you uh, quite a lot. Now, uh, at the end of this webinar, I would really love to give you a few more questions here, uh, and uh, the first one is this here. Uh, how do you access Sight and Write? Uh, I search for it on Google, I go to Library Search and search for Sight and Write, or I go to Library Search, click on Find Databases, and select the letter C. So what do you think is the right answer here? Yes, I see a lot of Cs. Yes, C is the right answer, of course. Uh, uh, there might be an option to search it on Library Search. Uh, sometimes there is, you can find the databases, but you would confuse it with the book because you will find the book to end the database, so it, m it might be a little bit confusing. So I really would recommend you to go to Find Databases, select C, and then go to uh, Site and Write. So this would be the easier way. Good. Uh, this was good. Now, next question. If you cite a, a video online, an online video in Harvard CCCU, do you remember how the title has to be? Has it to be bold, italic, or underlined? What do you think? Yeah, great. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Uh, the title is always italic. The title is always italic. Good. Great. Perfect. Uh, okay, we are close to the end of this webinar session. Uh, just let me remind you of the following, because of course you can do everything off campus, so you don't need to be here in the library. You can be off campus. You can sit at home wherever you have internet access and do this search. Uh, so, but if you do this off campus, then make sure that you are signed into Library Search. So this is the first important thing to do. And the second one is don't forget the open access thing. So if you're off campus, you try to access one of our resources via Library Search, then there is this point where you will ask again to sign in if you're off campus. And if you see this point, then look out for something called open access, open access sign in. Click on it and then type in your username and password again, and you will see that this will enable access to to this resource. So if you do this off campus, just don't forget uh, to use the open reference so you can access the resources. Okay, any time is that time for questions now? Um, how can you find it? We will post them. So we'll post them whenever we do a webinar for specific groups. Then we will post them on your Blackboard site. Uh, your tutors will be informed. They will know about the webinars, and we will let you know. So don't worry. If there are webinars, you will find out about them. There is no, in a way, timetable uh, for webinars. I mean, there is now for the, 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 the safeguarding webinars. We will do another one tomorrow at 2 o'clock, and there might be another one next week, because there's one group. They don't have time this week, so we do another one. OK. Now, uh, are there any questions? If not, then uh, I would like to post the link to my uh, to the feedback form. I would really be very gra uh, grateful if, if you can fill out the feedback form, if I get a little bit of feedback so I know how this works and how you feel about it and how your experience of this webinar uh, was. Uh, if you don't have any questions, then I really want to thank you very much for, for joining me uh, this afternoon. Uh, I, it was really uh, great that you could uh, manage to access the webinar, you could participate to this webinar. Thanks for your participation, for answering my questions. And just remember, whenever you have a problem, here is here are our, our, um, our help, our contact details. So it's my name, of course, it's Kate. You know, we share this role. Uh, you can contact her, you can contact me, or if you are located, if you study at uh, Medway, then uh, my colleague David Beckford is would be happy uh, to help you with this activity. So uh, don't be afraid to ask if you have any problems. But I think uh, it should be quite easy now to find some interesting literature and to read it and to comment on others. So thank you very much for joining. And I will hope to see you soon. Bye bye.